Harry and Meghan are accused of openly, you know, deriding royal family as Sussex's trust is questioned. Harry and Meg have launched a series of blistering allegations and criticism against the royal family over the past few years. Harry and Meghan have been accused of openly deriding the royal family. Royal commentator Richard Fred Williams discussed the string of revelations, claims and accusations against the firm and its members made since December by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Mr. Fred Williams told Express that they pride themselves on keeping control of the narrative, although the irony is they invade the privacy of others and only have work because they are members of an institution they openly deride. They are also keen to hang on to their titles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have so far done together or separately several interviews, a six-part Netflix talk series, a memoir, a podcast series, and a show focused on mental health where they either fully focus on at least refer to their life as senior royals. The commentator went on to discuss or to consider whether to expect the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at the coronation of King Charles. In light of the blistering criticism, claims and revelations potentially damaging the royal family and its members, Mr. First Williams argued the firm may not trust their relatives across the pond. The Duke and Duchess's claims against the firm were particularly intense between December and mid-January when the Netflix show Harry and Meghan was released and Prince Harry's memoir's pair hit the shelves, an event accompanied by a string of interviews to promote that book. Mr. Fitz Williams said it, was, it has long been reported that King Charles intended to ask Harry and Meghan to the coronation regardless of their provocations. For some six weeks with a brief truce over Christmas, they placed the monarchy under pressure with a series of attacks in Harry's memoir spare and interviews when he promoted it and in their six-hour docu-series for Netflix and their trailers to promote that. The royal family must clearly feel they cannot trust the Sussexes, anything they say could be made public. Mr. Fitzwilliams added that if they do attend the coronation, surely they must agree to cease their attacks, but if they did make this pledge, can they be trusted to keep their word? Harry himself was quizzed over his decision to make intimate revelations about his family during an interview with U.S. journalist Anderson Cooper. Leading to the sit-down for CBS 60 Minutes, the interview said, I assume the royals would say, well, how can we trust you? How do we know that you are, you are, you are, you are out going to reveal whatever conversations we have in the interview somewhere? Harry replied, this, this all started with them briefing daily against my wife with lies to the point of where my wife and I had to run away from my country. The royal commentator also noted that Duke and Duchess of Sussex want an apology from the palace, as stated by Harry in his interview with the Telegraph, Bruni Gordon. Addressing directly the royals, he said, you know what you did and I know why you did it and you have been caught, so just come out clean. Buckingham Palace hasn't yet released the guest list for the coronation, taking part at Westminster Abbey on May 6. Several reports over the past few weeks claim the monarch does not want, um, does want his second son to attend the historic event.